Somebody shout, one Jesus. One Jesus. One body of Christ. One body of Christ. One Monday. One Monday. Wonderful viewers, Jesus' is coming is imminent. God's final move of the Holy Spirit is here. This move, according to the scriptures, will cause a massive harvest of souls into the kingdom of Christ and unite the body of Christ in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus to live as icons of Christ. Glory to God. The final global movement brings you teachers that will position you to be an amazing success in life and relevant in God's kingdom as we get set for the rapture. Final global movement. One Jesus. One body of Christ. One Final global movement. Be the church. Wow, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you specially to today's NCC Hub. It has been amazing over the past few weeks. Um, I want to welcome you specially to today's episode of the NCC Hub with Dr. David Bindan and Pastor Ghani. And I want to specially thank my ministers of God for this uncommon privilege of uh, being on set today. It has been very exciting for the past few weeks on the NCC Hub exciting to be bringing you previous episodes of the new creation conference and having a, a panel discussion on them has been so enlightening and i believe that you have really been blessed wow and i'm excited to let you know that we have two more days to the new creation conference 2020 shout glory i'm so excited you know this thursday and friday happening live at the National Theatre in the evening from 5.30 p.m. sharp. Make sure you are there and make sure you come early. Don't miss the New Creation Conference. It is free, it is open to all, and then we have a special package for ministers. It is the Relevant Ministry Ministers Conference, and this is Friday in the morning. This is for uh, ministers. So if you are a minister of the Gospel, make sure you register for that section too as well hallelujah also want to remind you of the refreshing times with the beautiful bing dance every sunday in the evening from 4 p.m to 6 p.m also streamed live on youtube so just visit our youtube channel which is dr david bindan and the venue is the the good life center 2 auditorium at Collegono. Don't miss the refreshing times of the beautiful kingdom. It's an opportunity for you to know more about the Holy Spirit, the most beautiful and wonderful personality that you can interact with. And the Holy Spirit is our Father. He's the Father of the church, and He's the Father of uh, the one who is born again. And to become an icon of Christ, the key is a walk with the Holy Spirit, that constant fellowship and persistent work with the Holy Spirit is, is what will bring you to that place. Hallelujah. Wow. Before we continue today, let us share in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for another opportunity to be blessed by your word. Thank you for your truth. Thank you for your truth. Wow. I want to thank you that the eyes of our understanding is also enlightened. We affirm that the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation is at work in us mightily. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Wow, praise the Lord. Today's NCC Hub is also very special. Um, I have a special guest with me in the studio. And he's also going to share with us his experience, how his life has been transformed, having attended the New Creation Conference. So with me today in the studio is Brother Clever Amegbanu. Yeah. Wow, Brother Clever, you're welcome. Thank you. Wow, Brother Clever, it's exciting having you uh, in the studio today. Um, can you tell us which of the New Creation Conferences have you attended? 
thank you. I'll use this opportunity to thank my ministers of God, mm -hmm. especially Mr. and Mrs. Binder. And I thank my God also for this opportunity to give a testimony about his program. Mm -hmm. so, um, so far, I've attended the 2019 NCC. NCC. So that's the only one that that's you, the only one I've attended. attended so far. I'm sure that was the first time you heard about the new creation conference. Yes, please. Wow. So how did you hear about it? Was it on TV, on radio, or someone invited you? I was invited by a brother. Oh, a brother invited you? Yes, please. Wow. I'm sure you are forever grateful to that brother. Yes, please. <laughs> I've been invited you to the new creation yes, conference. Yes, that's the biggest or the greatest gift I've ever received. Wow. Yeah. I'm so blessed to hear that. Wow. So being your first time, at the new christian conference can you tell us how the atmosphere was like and how did it feel to be there <laughs> um right now it, it feels like today like, mm. yeah <laughs> I, I was so excited mm. like when i got in there um mm. you know a, a lot of ministers were ministering mm. and <laughs> it, it was so great the zeal was like Eating me up, mm. like I was, I can't wait to to receive more. Yeah, to, to receive yeah, more. To receive when you went to the yeah, like, the program, excited. like I can say, the program itself, like that's when Papa didn't come in yet. So he wasn't but, in yet. Yeah, but like I was so excited, I, I can't With everything that was going yeah, on. Yeah, I don't control myself. Like wow. Yeah, so I was so happy. I was, mm. I was very happy. The atmosphere was very charged. Mm. The, the spirit was very active. The Holy Spirit was, <laughs> I, I was stirred up in spirit. Wow. Very, very much. So, what, what other things did you notice in the service? Um, for, uh, most of the ministers came mm. to minister. I could remember uh, one of the lady pastors mm. was ministering and she was like, Daddy Holy Spirit. Mm. I was like, wow. I, because before uh, NC, I've not even, I don't know about the spirit. The Holy Spirit. I hear like sometimes they say, uh, in by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm. But I don't know, it's a person. Like mm. so they say, Daddy Holy. I say, what? Mm. Like, so, like so you didn't even know that the Holy Spirit was a person. Yeah. You didn't know about the power of the well, Holy I, Spirit I, and people falling down, yeah, yeah, the anointing and all that. Yeah. But I, at the NCC, yeah. you came to know the Holy Spirit was a person. Yeah. Because first I thought it was just an energy, mm. like. It's like a divine energy mm. or a force. Mm. So I never know it's a person. Though they say um, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but still, I, I never, never have. Knew. Yeah. So you got to know the Holy Spirit was a person, a person. at the conference. Yeah. And then when the, apart from being a person, when you heard Daddy Holy Spirit, Daddy Holy Spirit, I was it's so romantic. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like they said, Daddy Holy Spirit. I said, wow. And when she started teaching. Uh, like, I mean, ministering. Mm. She was like, let us pray that we, we become the word. I was like, ah, so that, that's another one too. <laughs> like, we become the word. Like, I was like, oh, so I, it, it's really transformed. So, so we are still on how you felt at yeah. the NCC being your first time. And these examples you are giving are all before Amis yeah. of God came. Yeah. So what, when Amis of God came, how was it like? so amazing hmm. <laughs> when he came in it was like um the spirit was here hmm. like there before he came in hmm. and he also came in with the spirit hmm. and i was like <laughs> <laughs> and immediately i saw like a revelation hmm. and though we were at the national theater i hmm. saw the the sky hmm. was and i i feel heaven like the presence of the lord very hmm. close cool. over, close over there so I, when he started ministering, mm. I can't control myself. Mm. Like seriously, I can't control myself. Like I was the zeal. Like, I was being eaten. The, the zeal is, was consuming me. Like the wow. fire was consuming me. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that you're you finding difficult to express, express how yeah, you. I'm saying it, it and it's not it's digest, beyond, dissolving. It's, like, I, yeah. I, I know it is yeah. beyond words. Yeah. Yes, it's so, beyond words. <laughs> wow, it's beyond yeah. the description of words. So how how was the joy like? <laughs> I was so joyous, like mm. very happy. Mm. Even after the conference, mm. 
we were going, I, c I can't just shut my mouth. Ooh. I was talking. <laughs> so I was talking. I was like, I was, I was, I was telling invited. invited yeah. yeah. So I was like, I, I can't even. That was even the first day. I was, I can't control myself. I was so happy. Mm. So even in the, in the day, the daytime, I keep on talking about it. I keep on talking about it. I can't. I, so I was so happy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Even not just was. I am now yeah, also now still so happy. happy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm so excited. Yeah. Like you heard, NCC is the greatest gift that someone ever gave him. So the brother who invited him to the new Christian conference is clever in saying that this is the greatest gift that he has ever received. Mm -hmm. And he's just testifying about the atmosphere at the new Christian conference. There's real transmission of divine essence, real transmission of power. There's real impartation at the new Christian conference. And it's not because people are shouting no. or we are calling you to lay hands on you and all that, but just the atmosphere. Wow, I'm so blessed. Wow. So I want you to tell us. So I want you to tell us. I mean, with all this excitement, how has your life been transformed? How? What did you know then, and what do you know now? Or I mean, what did you learn at the New Christian Conference? How has your life transformed? Thank you for your question. Mm -hmm. Um, before um, NCC, mm. I was so religious, mm. and though I was born again, mm. I uh, my the, the the reality or my conscience about consciousness of being a Christian, being a Christian, being a, child a child of God, of God. Being a divine being. yeah. And even when they say child of God, I I thought it is just a presumption or mm. let, like maybe. maybe just consider us to be children of God. Mm. So I never comprehend it very well. So during the S NCC, mm. I, I, I come to the realization mm. or I come to the knowledge mm. about who I really am in God wow, so that and in Christ. Yeah, yeah. Dawned on you. Dawned, it dawns on me. Mm. It come up for me mm. like a suit. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, and it, I, I told you I was so religious. Mm. So even in my hometown or where i was raised mm. do this i like going to church, church but my life wasn't really perfect i was mm. i was not just really my, my life was somehow <laughs> were you doing anything in church i, I was uh, i helped my uh, sunday school teacher sometimes oh, so you were teaching sunday school too yes well. yes but still sometimes i see some things in the bible mm. but it is not I don't know. Really? I just because the Bible is saying it so much, I just say it. But I don't have a grip on the way. Mm. So, so mm. during the uh, uh, NCC, mm. I've come to. I learned a lot. Mm. I learned a lot, so much. Like I want I want to explode. <laughs> Seriously, I like. <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. Like, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm very, very happy right mm. now. I'm very, very happy that the NCC. God has helped me through it. Mm. And if not, I would be, the, the Bible says, though the air, though he's a master, if he's not grown, he's, mm. he's no other than a slave. Seven, yes. Yeah. So I, I, I thank God that mm. I've come to know who I am mm. and living as the master that I am. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so, <laughs> so I, even time will fail me. Mm. So time will fail me. I can, like, uh, Training 65 days is not even enough <laughs> to talk about what happened. I can, if another day, if I say it today, mm. another day I'll say another thing. Mm. What really happened over there? Mm. And I can't say, oh, it is big. It's very big. So what, what specific things, what other specific things did you... Okay, mm. when daddy was preaching, mm. um, I told you, I never knew anything at all. Mm. I, so, the law... Mm. Is, Concerning the law, mm. I was, we thought mm. we are struggling mm. to be holy because we never understand mm. the purpose of God mm. and what God really means mm. when he issued the law. So when, when I came mm. to uh, the, new creation, the new creation conference, mm. when Papa was preaching, mm. I, <laughs> I was, I've never heard something like this. First, I, I, the Ten Commandments, mm -hmm. I, we thought we are all, struggling to mm -hmm. keep the law like mm -hmm. just as, as the jews mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. so i but when I, I i came in there mm -hmm. i've come to understand 
what grace really is. What, mm. what is the meaning of grace? Mm. So I come to understand that Jesus Christ mm. is the end of the mm. law of Moses. Mm. But uh, uh, grace, that's what the Bible says, um, if you have if you are justified by the law, mm. you are falling from grace. Mm. So I have come to understand that you being justified by grace doesn't mm. mean you should like but the Bible says don't fornicate mm. or uh, worship any other God. Mm. When you come to grace, like mm. the Spirit himself will help you mm. to keep the law. Like the righteousness of the law will come by it it's uh, mm. through the Spirit. Mm. So I know that I'm not coming to force myself mm. to keep the law. Mm. Now I'm coming to do it. With God Himself. Wow. So it it helps it helps me a lot. Wow. wow. I've, I've been so blessed about our brother's testimony, you know. See, it's just time will fail him. And it's even challenging to get the exact words to express how it is like to be at the new Christian conference. And in fact, it will be the same for anyone who has been to the new Christian conference. Hallelujah. Wow. <laughs> Don't go away, we are going on a short break and when we come back, we are going to continue. Hey! Come on. Wow, praise the Lord. Wonderful viewers. Today is Tuesday and we are just two days away from the New Christian Conference 2020. This is the conference the Lord ordained that is going to bake and transform you into another person. Samuel told Saul that you will meet prophets and you, the Spirit of God will come upon you and you'll be transformed into another man. You are coming to interact with the Holy Ghost in me and the Word of God and you'll be turned into another person in your home, in your family, in your personality, in your ministry and life. It is just two days away. Check your calendar and clear it of every schedule. And on Thursday 5.30, Friday, 5 30 be at the National Theater. If you are a minister of God, please don't miss the Minister's Conference. It's the relevant ministry minister's conference happening at the exhibition hall at the National Theater. Your ministry will take on a new dimension you never dreamt of. Ensure that you are at this conference. This is for the entire body of Christ. Don't miss it. Till I see you on Thursday and on Friday at 5 30 p.m. each evening. Life is good. Enjoy. Anytime NCC is coming, you will know that there is something new. What has been the impact, I mean, of this new Christian conference on maybe your personal life or your ministry? Hallelujah. It's a place where you come, the word is revealed. So anytime I come, I'm ready. And the impact of this ministry has been so tangible in my life and the ministry. A special feature of this year's new creation conference is the Relevant Ministry Ministers Conference. It's happening on the morning of 27th November at 8 a.m. prompt. Dear Minister of God, you cannot miss this opportunity to know the times and be relevant in God's dealings on the earth today. It's the Relevant Ministry Ministers Conference with Dr. David Binden. Let's meet at the National Theatre on the 26th and 27th November 2020, a new creation conference, helping you exhibit the divine life. He's all that I have now. Hallelujah. Welcome back to the NCC Hub. And we are going to continue listening to our brother, uh, Clever, uh, who was at the New Christian Conference last year. That was his, your first time at the New Christian Conference, right? Now, at NCC, you received a healing yeah. at the New Christian Conference 2019. Yeah. You received a healing. Did anyone pray for you? No, no, nobody, no, nobody prayed for me. Nobody prayed for you. Yes, please. Wow. So, what condition was it? Oh, uh, it was a uh, asthmatic problem. Asthma. Yeah, asthma. Okay. Yeah. So, how did you know that you were healed? 
thank you um knowing how i was healed mm. was um, something like, first of all unbelievable mm. because um if i were to it, the, the time before the ncc mm -hmm. if it would, it would be that time i will not know so i've come to understand mm. understand mm. I, 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 yeah that i am healed mm. When Daddy was preaching, mm. I felt something in my spirit. Mm. And even the Bible, when Jesus was ministering, the spirit was present to heal them. To heal. The, yeah. Mm. So I. I, so I the, the power of God was, was present, present to, to heal, heal them. Mm. Yeah. So just by listening to the mm. uh, sermon mm. or the teaching, I, I received something mm. in my spirit. Mm. I, I was stirred up in the spirit mm. and I received a healing. Mm. And so you got to know. I knew it. You knew it. Yeah. You, you knew that you knew that you knew that you were healed. I was healed. <laughs> it, so, it was so real to you. It was know? very, very real. Your spirit. Yeah. I was healed. I knew it. Mm. I, 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 <laughs> I have a great conviction mm. in my heart, like mm. my, my spirit, mm. that I was very, very healed. Wow, this is awesome. Wow. So time will indeed fail us to listen to all that you have to share with us today. Uh, so can you tell our viewers who are preparing to come for the new Christian conference what they should expect in terms of the word that is going to come to them? I, for everybody who is watching, uh, who is invited to come to the new Christian conference this year, 2020, I knew it in my spirit. It's going to be very, very amazing because the last year was so much but this is going to be greater so i i i want to see everybody there i i, I wish the whole world can come i wish the whole world can come and i wish all my family my friends can also come because what i got there it's really changing me i've come to know god very very much and i know the holy spirit i know jesus christ as a person I know him. I I know I've seen him. I know him because of this, and be, because of the NCC, I can I sit down and talk with God if nobody is around. So I enjoy that freedom, like talking alone. Yeah, I've now come to understand fellowship, mm. and it's very amazing. Mm. If you are coming, expect more. Mm. Expect more, mm. and I pray that you are very zealous mm. for the way. It's going to come upon you mm. and the spirit will help you mm. and as i'm talking to you right now i have a confidence with the lord mm. that this 2020 mm. when i come in there i'm going to have greater changes in my life wow so lastly um let's say someone is listening to us and the person is sick yeah. uh, person may think that ncc is not a place to be because yeah. you're not going to call people to lay hands on them and all that what do you have to tell that person uh what i'll tell the person is um, the power of God n not uh, necessarily means that you have to uh, a minister have to lay hand on you mm. to to be healed. Mm. That's how come sometimes they pray online and mm. people get healed. Mm. But when you come in there, mm. the spirit is going to stir up something in your spirit, mm. and you are going to have the reality mm. of your new creature, mm. who you really are, mm. and your healing mm. is going to be more. <laughs> more than reality mm. if you are watching me and you are very sick don't worry just come as i said whose report have they believed mm. so come and understand thank you and i want to see you there <laughs> wow i've been so blessed well, so if you are listening to us today and you are not born again this is the right opportunity it's important for you to understand that god's plan for you is for you to become his child by receiving his life in jesus christ and this is easy the bible says that you must believe with all your heart that jesus is the son of god raised from the dead and confess him as the lord of your life and when you do this you shall be born again what it means is that the human life in your spirit will be supplanted with God's very life and you'll be born as a divine person 
the child of God. You are ready to do so. Why don't you say this with me? Say that, dear Lord Jesus, I believe with all my heart that you were raised from the dead. And I confess you today as Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that I am born again. Hallelujah. While well, you just did this, make sure you get planted in a Bible teaching church or you can call us so that we will help you grow. Remember, the New Christian Conference is just two days away. This Thursday and Friday. And it is free and open to all. And if you're a minister, don't forget that we have a special conference for ministers that's in the morning of Friday. This is a relevant ministry ministers conference. Time for the NCC is 5.30 p.m. in the evening, live at the National Theatre. Wow, thank you so much, Brother Clever, Welcome. for blessing us with your testimony. So till we meet again, life is good. Enjoy. Thank you for joining today's episode of your favorite Good Life devotion with Dr. David Bindan. The Good Life Devotion is proudly brought to you by friends and partners of the Final Global Movement. For more information on how to become a partner, call us on 055-792-7744 or log on to our website, finalglobalmovement.org. Become a partner today and contribute to the global spread of God's message for the now. Follow us on our various social media handles and you will be blessed. Don't miss the Good Life Devotion on the channels displayed on your screen at the scheduled times. Till we come your way with the next episode of the Good Life Devotion with Dr. David Bender. Life is good. Enjoy.